came to me I don't know, 10, 15 years ago and told me that this that I got in my hands today is a full on gaming computer with 8 cores, 16 threads, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory and a variable TDP between 10 and 30 watts. Generally, I make coding crazy, but we're in the future, yeah? Let's go. Hello, everyone. I'm Chekotek, and this over here is the Ace Magic AMR5, a 1.7 litre beast that pack a Ryzen 5 5700U, 16 gigabytes of DDR4, a 512 terabytes NVMe SSD for Windows, and a full one terabyte NVMe SSD as well for all the games. But hold on, because that's not everything. This little one over here, it also got Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.0, four USB type A 3.0, one USB type C, full gigabyte LAN, and a display port and an HDMI port that deliver incredible radio graphics and the best part is not just the size because this is not an apple wannabe type of situation the panel is easily removable with no screws and internally you got two dims for ddr4 so dims and two m.2 ssds as well but easily you can swap these modules that you got inside here and upgrade it as much as you want maximum 64 gigabytes ddr4 and four terabytes nbme ssd pair slot and did i mention the power button because it's located in a really cool and accessible place it's just here at the front and apart from a very satisfying clicky noise it's also a dial so you can go from silence to auto to performance giving you that availability to go from the 10 watts they give you in silence all the way up to 30 watts for maximum performance in simple slide of the finger but before i dive into this thing into gaming because yeah this is a full-on gaming pc and productivity pc and you can do with this pretty much everything that i do in my big machine over there this design is just incredible so as you saw here i removed the side panel this is just filled out of plastic and many materials that i use here is just plastic i'm not gonna lie to you but yeah you got plastic frame with a plastic shroud on the side plastic everywhere a four rubber legs at the bottom and everything got a very nice and um, approaching design in my opinion at the top you got the ace magic logo up here that actually illuminates with some rgb that they got inside because of course it's a gaming computer so this needs rgb full on but on the side that we can remove the panel easily as i mentioned you got the upgradable slot so you got memory ram and you got m.2 ssds and down here you got some ad's as well and then you got a little shroud over here where some fans they're located on the other side and that fan will call the Nintendo soc so in the the ryzen 5700u that got inside they use radio and graphics as well and that fan is not the choirs but it actually do a really really good job of keeping this thing under control of course let's do numbers and performance because this thing is powerful it's super super powerful and it's a seamless computing experience whether you're into gaming content creation multitasking this amr5 can handle everything but let's leave the numbers to one side because they're all synthetic benchmarks uh, yeah they give you a number they give you a baseline they give you a kind of temperature maximum that this thing it's able to handle um it, it was perfect but let's talk gaming shall we because gaming this thing i chucked formula one 2022 and was playable i chucked force of horizon 5 playable cyberpunk 2077 playable stride a cat game that was playable enough flight simulator this struggle a little bit but still still playable so even Spider-Man, Maya Morales, Kenna, Breach of the Spirits, and NBA 2023, they were playable enough on this thing. Granted, 
in all games that I mentioned from Formula One, Forza Horizon, Cyberpunk, Flight Simulator, everything was all the settings at low. And I was average about 30 to 50 FPS. So it's playable enough. It's brilliant. I, I tell you what, this little one, it ran crisis with no problem. Again, everything low and about 30 to 35 FPS. But this thing, this little thing that I can hold in my hand run crisis. I only have two hiccups with two games. And um, that was Formula One 2023. I have a blank screen for a while and then the game is close up. So, okay. And the new Forza Motorsport, that gave me an error saying that the graphica is not compatible and it just would not launch the game at all. Apart from that, this thing is brilliant. So the clearly is not a marketing strategy of calling this thing a full-on gaming PC because it can play from AAA games to indie games to just any other games. And this mini PC is beyond just a productivity little machine, family machine, call it however you want, office machine. It's a full-on gaming mini PC. Tiny. Every time I look at it, it's like... It's tiny, it's tiny, and I kind of love it, I'm not gonna lie. And this thing just rolls into any fire into the arena without breaking any sweat, literally. Maximum in gaming, I got 69 degrees Celsius. 69 degrees Celsius on this little thing. Yeah, the fan got a little bit loud, but again, if you got this thing in the living room, for example, and I have put mine in the living room, and you can have a Bluetooth controller, Bluetooth, a uh, keyboard and mouse, and you can just have this for play with the family if you've got some double games like NBA or FIFA or even like some racing games and you want to do one-to-one -one or however you want to play. Even if you want to get your racing sim, you pop up racing sim or my racing box that I got over here, take it to the living room, plug it all in and play some racing games. This thing is brilliant. It's, it's you forget about a massive computer multi screen. Just take this, just plug it in, and straight we go. But enough with numbers and how good this thing is for gaming because who really is this little AMR5 gaming PC mini Ace Magic little beast for? And I would say this is a family computer. This is the thing that you will plug in a monitor put it behind, hide it somewhere, and just, just use it for anything. The kids can do homework on this. You and your wife and whoever lives in your house can do some, any productivity on this thing from Photoshop to checking the bills, going in Amazon, just doing everything. Like this is a full on family share computer that run Windows, no, no problem. But yeah, if you then want to just lie back and just chill and just get some gaming on this thing, why not? This can be the perfect family gaming computer without breaking the bank. Because the price for this little one right now is 400 British pounds or around 490 US dollars. So let me know in the comment section below if you want me to test this little thing a little bit further, make another video, maybe part two, or just post a couple of stuff on my social medias because this thing is capable for so, so much that uh, this is just an issue of review. So if you're looking forward for me to check this PC a little bit more, just don't forget to smash the like button and let me know in the comment section below if you want another video of this little one. And if you want to buy this one or check it for yourself, link will be below the like button as well. But don't forget, I'm Checker Tech. Thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next one. Adios.